Okay, this is a video um, to do with uh, safer LiPo charging uh, in the home. As you can see, here's a fairly standard sort of field charging setup with uh, two charges there, perfect for my uh, setup. They match my generator nicely. Um, and normally we would uh, charge the batteries there on the, uh, on, on the flat space there. Great in the field, um, and perfectly good at home at providing you keep uh, an eye out uh, for your batteries, because if they go wrong, um, as we know, live posts can be pretty dangerous. So this is just a solution I've come up with uh, to hopefully make things a little bit safer. Um, what I've got is mounted either side um, of the uh, case um, are four um, 50 cal um, ammunition boxes um, because these will um, contain any fire from any lipo that goes bad. Um, <clears throat> however, um, that's only just a part of it because as we know, contained um, lipo fire on one of these um, will actually cause an explosion unless there's a way for the gas to vent off and uh, the smoke that comes from uh, a lipo to be honest will probably do more damage to the property than the fire itself will uh, unless the, the, the fire gets a hold in on the building so uh, how do we deal uh, with the, um, the off gassing of the uh, lipos well here's what I think is the, the bit I've enjoyed doing the most um, in the back you can see um, I've plumbed in um, this piping here which is completely airtight um, and on the end here is um, a nozzle to plug a, a hose lock type hose um, for routing uh, any smoke or what have you out of the house through a window or, or through a small hole in, in your shed uh, door or whatever however you want to get it um, but what this effectively means is that I can now charge um, through my four separate ports um, any number of amounts of batteries that the chargers will do um, in about as safe a manner uh, as you can. Not only that, as you can see here, I also use um, for just day-to-day -day, uh, LiPo storage. So should anything go wrong, um, it's all sorted. So how have I done it? Very simply, here's the, um, the wiring and the harness from it. In order to ensure I've got an airtight um, exit for the wires, I tried rubber grommets in the past, they didn't work, so I just got a block of wood drilled enough holes for each wire, but the hole just big enough to get the wire through, uh, and then sealed the holes uh, with epoxy, uh, as you can see there. And that happens on both sides of the, uh, of the box. And that creates a really nice uh, airtight seal. Um, the plumbing attachments themselves come with rubber grommets, so they're airtight. Uh, and on the back here, you can see probably that there's, again, a bit of epoxy uh, there just to seal that hole. Creates a really nice uh, airtight system uh, and, of course, the ability for the, um, for the gases uh, to escape. So I'll just post that there as another idea on how to make um, LiPo charging that bit safer um, than what you do at home. And, of course, this lot all comes apart. I can take the case off the board, you can see there's a handhold there and the board nicely fits in the back of my car as well so I can charge in the back of the car again without fear of uh, the whole car going up uh, should there be a problem uh, with the LiPo. Uh, I'm not saying that LiPo's can be left um, unattended during charging this time um, but all it takes is for your attention to be diverted for one second that's when the LiPo's go bad and that's when the drama starts and this way I've just got a much um, safer feeling about uh, the way we go about it.